All right, babe, you can pick any lure that you want me to make for my next lure. Which one is it? She really does have a free choice, so. Really? Anything you want. Anything. Anything. Right. You can pick multiple and then decide. I'm between a fingerling. Okay. I'm actually buy that because I lost it. And a yeah. lipless crankbait. That is the one I already made. Just so you That's know. One, it is not already not that paint scheme, but. What is this one? That's a hard flashing. What's the action? Flat wrap. Made the ball so slow rising. Hey, I can try you to make. Know what? You know what? That little guy. <laughs> you know what? Let's do a minnow. You want to do a mini? A minnow. Okay. Like, That's, I'll grab it. Actual... I'll... Fingerling or minnow? What can Which you one? do? I can do both. Do a minnow. A minnow? Do a minnow. I'll buy it so Sorry. I know what to go off of. All right, so Crystal just picked. This tiny, tiny little jerk bait, <laughs> little one and sixteen ounce minnow. So that will be the lure I make in this video. Well, guys, as you just saw, my girlfriend picked a lure for me, and apparently she hates me because she chose the smallest little lure possible. <sighs> this is not going to be fun. I wanted a big swim bait to do that would be super easy, but uh, this is what she chose. So I'm gonna open this guy up, and we will start making this lure bunch of carving on that some scales see that lateral line as well the little eyes the little lip i'm worried about the little lip man i don't know what i'm gonna do with that but that is a tiny tiny lip but let's get started thanks a lot crystal if you hate me just say that <laughs> well i have this piece of basswood left over from the last lure one bad thing about this is it will have to go outside to cut this out and it is a uh, 20 freaking degrees outside not fun. Fuck that, I ain't doing it. <laughs> Imagine. I'm pretty sure my line ties are going to be thicker than the end of this bait. I got some wire cut here. I'm gonna go ahead and bend this and twist it and kind of compare and see how big my line tie is gonna be compared to the end of the bait. I have all these wires cut. So while we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and make all the line ties for this bait right now. But there is the size of the line tie. Compared to the bait, that is going to be a very sketchy drill out on that piece. We got our line ties made. Now we can go cut this out. And once again, that line tie is pretty much the same size as the end of that bait. All right, so I just drew up the lip on this Lexan and there is no way I'm cutting that out. So, I'm gonna try on this piece of plastic here. This is just a divider from a tackle box. And I've tried this before with my very first lure and this broke, the lip kept breaking off. But this lip is so freaking tiny, I just don't see it breaking. So I'm gonna try to cut it out from this with scissors. See if I even can, instead of cutting my finger off on the blade runner, trying to cut the small Lexan piece, so. All right, there is our lip. So, so far we got the lip made and the line ties. All right, so here is our piece cut out. I have a little bit of cleanup to do here on the back end. Now sanding. I need to sand down to the lines, get it all smooth. It may just be that big. It is very close. So yeah, I'll probably just smooth it out the best I can without sanding too much and then call it good there. That bottom cut came out super smooth. I don't have to do anything to that. All right, so I am happy with this shape 
And before I move on and put any more work into this little piece, I want to drill out the holes first. If my holes are off or off center, that will completely screw up the bait. First hole drilled out successfully. Should I test that out real quick? Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Go ahead and get this front hole. So on the original lure, the line tie is at the very top and the lip is right below it. To match this other bait, which is what I'm doing, it needs to be right here. So. Front line tie, tied in. All right, last line tie, hole drilled. Now we can start carving. The sides are carved down. Now we just need to sand it down. I totally forgot to chamfer the sides. Dang it. So I get to do that now. All right, let's try sanding it now. Also guys, a lot of people have commented that should be wearing a respirator, and I do. My face is just not in view, but I am wearing a respirator. Anytime I sand or paint, I am wearing it. So I do appreciate you guys looking out for me, telling me tips and tricks to keep me safe. Keep doing that, please. But yeah, I am wearing it always. Got it all sanded down nice and smooth. Now I think we need to carve. Yes, carve on this little tiny piece. Not gonna be fun. So what I'm saying on this guy is we have the gills to carve, which is a line around the eye, the gill and a line going through. And then I see a lateral line going all the way across. And then right below that lateral line, there is a bunch of lines going up and down. And then above that is the scales. So what I'm gonna carve is the gills, that lateral line, and all the lines going down. And then I can do the top little scales with paint. That is the plan anyways. This is my first time ever carving anything. So, well, carving any details at least. So I get to start on the smallest piece possible. I may go ahead and drill the eyes out to you. You're never truly done sanding. Never. His eyes are so small, I could probably do this by hand. We got the smallest eyes possible here. And the eyes on this bay are clear. Clear with a little black dot. So those eyes right there at the bottom. Now, it's carving time. Not bad for my first time carving. Not too bad at all. If I can carve this little guy, I can carve pretty much anything. But now we need to sand that, make it look pretty. All right, I got the main lines carved out. Not too bad for my first time. There are the lines. I went ahead and drew them all the way around. All 
a few of these little cuts broke off like on that one right there so I'm just kind of gonna try to glue these back on So I decided to go ahead and continue these ribs all the way around. I just thought it would look better. But I wanted to go do that and it, they started falling off. <laughs> well, the one I cut did. So I'm gonna go ahead and seal this wood real quick with super glue, hopefully make it stronger and not fall off. But right now we're just sealing the wood. Not exactly how the lure looks, but I think this rib wrapping all the way around looks pretty cool. All right, so I got it all carved. It looks all right, I and mean, it's not the prettiest. My first time carving, I'll take it, but it looks kinda cool. I mean, cool design idea, I guess, but there is the carving on the lure. All done. From now on, there will be carving on every single lure I make. Definitely gaining some confidence in carving doing this, little guy. I need to get this lip glued in. So, I'm not gonna be doing a hole. I'm gonna be cutting out a slot. I'll take my X-Acto knife, cut a slot about right there in the bottom. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and glue this lip in. I gotta be careful to get it in spot as quick as possible because this these plastic lips, man, they like to stick quick. So, loop straight, same angle as this lure. I think we did it. I think we did it first try, boys. Sweet. I'm gonna fill that gap up with baking soda and super glue. Whenever I epoxy this lure, I'm gonna epoxy over that lip because it is so small, not the right plastic. We need everything we can do to make that lip strong so it does not break off. Dude, this is starting to look pretty sick. <laughs> not the cleanest, like it can definitely be cleaner, but we'll get there. I, my carving will get better. All right, all right, all right. If you guys want to see my girlfriend pick another lure for me to build, then uh, let's get three likes on this video. <laughs> let's do it. Three likes, and I will have her pick another lure for me to make. Sometimes you just got to beat it in there. All right, well, there is the bait all carved. We got the line ties on. We got the lip on. Looking, it's looking decent. It's looking pretty cool, man. It is looking like a lure. All right, so I threw the lures in the water and they both have pretty much the same float. So that is good. This is the only silver I have, but it says it is a pearlized black. It may be too black, honestly. I will try to add some white to it, see what that does, see if we can make gray, but. Three more drops of white. Pretty close. Well, I had a few more drops of white. I just got some on the lure, and it's kind of hard to see. So we're, we're pretty close. Start off with the gray, cover the entire thing, and hit with the black. I should have covered the lip, but I didn't. All right, it is time for black. I'm gonna add some scales to this. I guess I'll wrap it in this film since it's all one piece. Didn't exactly do the scales. Man, I need to get better scales. These scales are weak. They're there, but they're very weak. Okay, so the next color I need to go get for my airbrush is chrome, apparently. <laughs> chrome. Is there white on this body? I don't know if that's a white. It's not really white, but it's lighter silver than that. I'm gonna add some white to this. There's not much white on here, but I think white on here, just a, the tiniest amount would be kind of cool. All right, so it is time to seal the bait, but before we can do that, I need to make a lure dryer. So 
I got this disco ball right here. If you can see the lights, it has a rotating motor on the inside. So I'm going to use this to make a, uh, so bright, to make a lure dryer rack. So unplug this. Take those lights off, they're freaking super bright. I don't even care about this thing, we can destroy it. How am I going to get something attached to this? This guy comes out, this metal, or this black piece right here. This ain't gonna be the final product, I just want this to be quick and easy. But here's what I'm thinking, what if I just stuck this clip to hold for the airbrush painting right inside there? I may need to super glue that in. I could probably go shorter. I'm gonna commit to it. Let's get some super glue. This is like literally just thinking as I'm going. Where's the super glue? Oh, here we go. I'm just gonna put some super glue in there. Not too much. I don't want it to run down. And then stick this piece of wood right in there. I hit it with some uh, baking soda. Speed up that drying process. That should never come out. Hopefully that stick doesn't break. So, so far that is what we got. Again, this is get it done now so I can get this lure sealed and done today. I will be improving this to where I can have multiple lures on it at once. So there is our rotating lure dryer. How sick is that? It's kind of fast, but for $10 at Walmart, a disco ball, and literally a minute of work to uh, have a lure dryer just like that. That's pretty sick. Just like that, we have a lure dryer, baby. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and seal this guy. <laughs> That's pretty sick. I'm gonna go ahead and seal this guy. I got some five minute epoxy. I went and got some uh, epoxy from Hobby Lobby. So I may try this. Sorry about the noise, but I got turned on the fan. This epoxy smells absolutely horrible. I don't even wanna do this inside, but we're doing it. I just realized I did not do the eyes. Dang it. Amateur hour over here. This stuff hardens so fast. This stuff is amazing compared to the Gorilla Epoxy. Like I would mix this for the five minutes. I would put some on my bait go to sleep and the next morning it would still leave fingerprints. I was already touching the paper plate that I had this epoxy on and it did not leave fingerprints. So I, I'm guaranteeing this guy's almost already done with using this stuff right here. So this stuff was like nine, $10 at Hobby Lobby, but uh, this stuff might be the way to go, man, because that hardened really fast. I'm not gonna touch it yet because I do not want to risk it, but here is how the lure is looking. Those carve marks on the inside look pretty sick with the uh, epoxy. I knew the epoxy would fill all those gaps, but the you can still see it. The lines are still there. That looks pretty freaking sick. This is gonna look a whole, whole, whole lot better than all my other clear coats, that is for sure. I don't see any spots. It should dry perfectly. So uh, I'm excited about this one. Our clear coats are getting better. This is how it's looking so far. And yeah, my idiot self forgot the freaking eyes, man. I was so excited about finishing it. I just forgot the eyes, but we will attach them. What's good though, man? I'm gonna let this harden for a bit, maybe an hour or so, and then we'll add the eyes. It's actually a nice day. It is cold, but not much wind. Dave is down here. We'll see if he caught any fish. No, I got bit a couple times. You got a few bites? Yeah. Oh, damn nabbit. I know. You, guys you make little... that? Yeah. Not too bad. You need to make bigger ones. I know. I told my girlfriend to pick me a lure at Walmart, and that's what she chose. I was like, dang it, not to make this small little guy. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, very nice. Yeah, pretty good, though. Paint job's great. Thanks, man. Getting good at paint. Getting better. All right, boys. It is time to test out the lure I just made. This guy looks pretty freaking cool, man. I added a split shot to my line just because this guy is super light and uh, I want this guy to sink. I'm fishing about 30-40 foot on this dock and 
it needs to go down. I need to be on that freaking bank, man. Well, guys, before it gets dark or before I lose it, I'm going to show you all the lure real quick. I don't think I even showed it. But here is the lure. Like, this is my first, like, realistic lure with paint. There's no yellows, no reds. Just realistic. We got the scales up top. We got the lines on the bottom. All those carvings, they look really good. You can't feel them. The uh, clear coat made it all smooth, but this lure looks pretty cool, man. I like it. I like how it came out. All right, I took off the split shot weight. You can kind of see it bounces around a little bit more. This is really shallow water. I'm trying to go down in two inches of water. Let me get up farther. The water is turning super murky. So it's getting harder to see the action, but you can kind of see it. That's with me popping it like a jerk bait. It does not have much action if I just go straight. Nothing at all. Which kind of sucks, but I don't expect much from this tiny little lure. Oh, it did a flip. It did a kit flip. You see that? <laughs> So yeah, I mostly just pop it, give it some action. Has some pretty crazy action when I pop it. But that is the lure my girlfriend picked for me to make. So thank you for really challenging me, Crystal. That was not fun, but I've learned a lot making this lure, especially learned a lot with carving. And now I feel like I can carve pretty much anything, but it's cold, the fish aren't biting right now, so. I'm probably gonna call it but guys i hope y'all enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe and i will catch y'all in the next one peace